Hello, today we're going to demonstrate CloudSnap using Cloudian HyperStore. We're using a flash array connected to a Cloudian appliance. This will be a CloudSnap to Cloudian and also showing rapid recovery from Cloudian back to the flash array. Here we have our pure flash array with data that we want to snapshot and then offload those snapshots to a Cloudian. Here we can take a look at our Cloudian dashboard. Next we can go in and we can start to configure the Cloudian to work with Snap. Configuring a Cloudian to work with CloudSnap is as easy as creating a user and a bucket on the Cloudian. Once this is done, one command on the peer side will initialize the bucket with the proper file layout. Here is an example of an initialized bucket on Cloudian. Here we can see the directory structure has been set up and populated. Back on the pure array, we can go into storage, and then into protection groups. Here we can now create a new protection group for our data. We're going to name this CloudSnap Demo. Once this is created, we can then decide which volume we would like to snap. We can go into the protection group, highlight it, go to Add Volumes, select our CloudSnap Demo, and add that volume. Once that's done, we can select our offload target, the pure REPL, which is the bucket on the Cloudian. We can then go over to the replication schedule, enable the replication schedule. We can leave the default schedule in place. We can click Save. At this point, the CloudSnap will start to generate new snapshots based on the replication schedule. Now we can take a look at the data we want to protect with CloudSnap and Cloudian. Here we can take a look at the volume we are protecting. In the top left, you can see there are 1,000 files averaging 33 megabytes each with a total of around 32 gigs of data. We have taken an MD5 checksum of each file so that we can simulate data loss and snap back to snapshot be backed up to Cloudian. We have truncated half the files, deleted a quarter, and appended to a quarter of the files. Once the data loss simulation is complete, we can do a quick listing of the files and see that we are missing a quarter of them and the size on disk is different. We are confident that our existing data is now very different from our original data set. We can now begin going through the CloudSnap recovery process with Cloudian and Rapid Recovery. We will start by unmounting the file system so that the recovery is as clean as possible. Once the unmount has completed, we will then navigate back to the Flash Array GUI to perform the snapshot retrieval from Cloudian. Under Offload Targets, select Pure Ripple, which contains snapshots already offloaded to Cloudian. Here we will select the snapshot we want to retrieve from the Cloudian. On the right-hand side, click the download icon. Once the menu comes up to select the snapshot, highlight the targeted snapshot and select Get. This will download the snapshot from Clouding to the flash array as a rapid recovery. Now the snapshot has been copied locally. We can go to the volume section and we'll be able to see our snapshot in the volume snapshots pane on the right-hand side. Here we can choose the type of recovery we want. In this case, we will be doing an override of the volume which is why we chose to unmount our file system earlier. We will be prompted to overwrite data, which is our intent. Now back on our client, we can go in and we can mount up our CloudSnap demo file system again. We can take a look at the files which are there. We can see that the number of files and the sizes are recovered back to their original states. We can then run another checksum again and look at the files and see we can compare those with the checksum we ran before the simulated data loss. We can see there is no difference between the checksums letting us know that the snapshot recovery from Cloudian was a success. On the Cloudian GUI, we can see the snapshot files are preserved per the retention policy. In summary, we use CloudSnap and Cloudian together to back up and recover flash array datasets. 